In this video, I will show you how to install SharePoint Service 3.0 or SharePoint Foundation 2010 in Windows Server 2008. For SharePoint Service, now it changed the name SharePoint Foundation. This both free is for small organization for secure web-based collaboration. There's, there's a much powerful version called SharePoint Server 2010. It's much more features but cost money. Okay, so let's go to this uh, SharePoint Server 3.0 website. So you can go to this website, Microsoft.com website here. You can download the SharePoint. This is this comes with the service pack two. This is a for six bit computer. You just click the download button. If you want to download the SharePoint Foundation, this is the latest version. This is a Microsoft SharePoint Foundation 2010. So you click download button, you can download this. Both these are free foundation service. Okay, so let's uh, but before you install in the Windows Server 2008, there you need to then set up. So before install the SharePoint, I already in downloaded SharePoint the X exe. But before uh, start run this one, I need to do the configuration here. So you go to Start Menu in Windows Server, and you go to Administrate Tools, go to Server Manager. When you go to Server Manager, you check this load. You may need to add unload uh, IS load. Add load IS load. If you already have IS load, you check here. You can see Web Server IS. You already have this one, then you click the this one, add loss. You need to add loss. The add loss, if, if you deny IS, you can install at least IS load. I already add this one. So if you do not add this load, you can create this. You already add this IS, and then you need to add load service again. The reason is you need add more service. At, this is the uh, low service. You need to add several things. You need to check this one. I already checked this one. This first four set it content to HTTP errors. This four. You also need to uh, check this API ASP.NET until this this everything for this uh, application development. Also need to install this one. I already installed this one. You also need to check this health and Dynox. It is the first four. Login, and you also under the security you also install this first four, and also this one, and performance you need to install this tool, and management tools you need to install I I S management to check this one, or the I N six management. And uh, FTP, you don't need to in, uh, check this one, but just in, you need to check everything here. Then you create install. I already installed this one service. Also, in the feature, you need to right click this feature. Click add features. You need to install this Net Framework 3.5.1 features to install this one. I already checked this one installed. You don't need to install. So after this one, you just go to this one. Administration tools, and you go to SharePoint product, take another configuration visa to create this one. So I already click this one and go to web page here. The web page, you can see here, this is SharePoint web page. You can create application management. You can create site collection. You can share your collaboration tools and create users and do a lot of collaboration. There's so many options you can do manage. Thanks for